Hello. So today we are going to work on improvising or realizing an accompaniment for jingle bells. So we have our new chart that accompanies the jingle bells on pages 10 and 11 of the Christmas book for Alfred's. So we see here that we have a nice mchuck kind of accompaniment that we want to create. So either we can play here at middle C, or we can play a little bit lower. I recommend we play a little bit lower. That would give it a nice, thick accompaniment while we have up here on the right hand with your uh, duet partner. So we're going to go ahead and bring it down here. So the first chord we know is going to be C, so with the right hand we're always playing our chords in root position, one, three, five of the chords. Let's go over the chords. So we have for the first two measures, and then on measure number three we have this chord for beats one and two, and then for the last two beats two and three, we have a G. Okay, so we have a beat measure, uh, beats three, three and four, beat uh, G chord, and then we bring it back to C major for the fourth measure. And then we're going to go back to C, G major for measure number five. Measure number six, we have C major again, and then measure number seven, yep, you guessed it, it's D major for the whole measure, and then for measure number eight, it's going to be back to G major. So we're working with all of those chords. Let's go ahead now and talk about our rhythm. The left hand, let's see, make sure that you can see, the left hand will be playing always the 1 and the 5 of the chords. We're not going to play up like this, we're going to play down. Give it a nice bassy sound. So for C major it's going to be C, G, C, G. For G major it's going to be G, D, G, D. For F major, uh, for back to C major, and for D major, it's going to be D A D A D D, just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and go over this rhythm. It's always going to be bass chord, bass chord, just like that. So bass chord, bass chord, switching from one to five for every one. It's going to be beats number one. And three is what the left hand is going to play. Beats number two and four will be what the right hand plays. So let's go ahead and try that out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, for this measure here, on measure number three, beats two. Beats 1 and 2, B, C major, while the left hand plays G, you will play G major on the right hand. However, the left hand will not move from its position. It will stay in C because it's going back to C. And you're going to do a little step, step down motion here. Just like that. C, B, A, G. And then you're going to come up to here. G major, and then back to C, and then you're going to go up to D major, and then back up to G. Now you notice how you're doing the step down motion from G, G, F, E, D, just like that. So G. F, E, D. Still playing on beats number two and four for the right hand. 
Then you're gonna go back again, you're gonna do the repeat. C, G, C chord, G, C chord, G chord. G major. Go back to C. Go back to G. bring it down like that, C, G, C, low chord to bring it to an end. Alright, let's bring it all together. I'm going to go ahead and sing the lyrics as we do this. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to really nice. Let's go ahead and practice that one hand at a time if necessary. Always remember to play your chords blocked like this first and then to break them up like this. According to your chart. Now the chart you have will have the melody and it will also have the chord symbol. However, the umchucks will not be written out. That is up to you to realize. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure that out, and we'll have it ready for next lesson. Good luck.